Hi, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today, we're gonna to do Advanced Vocabulary Builder, lesson number 35, where we'll go through 10 advanced words and talk about their definitions, parts of speech, and a couple of example sentences. We'll finish up with a story that'll help us practice all of these words. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's hop in. First, listen to me read the words. Query, refract, quarantine, emollient, zodiac, refurbish, strenuous, insidious, amenity, modulate. Query. This means a question, especially one addressed of an official or organization, as a noun. It can also, as a verb, mean ask a question about something. So when you refer to a query, it's basically referring to a question or to query something is to ask a question. So examples here are, I have a query regarding the deadline for submitting the project. Could you please clarify? She raised her hand to ask a query during the lecture. Refract, so this can be of water, air, or glass, and it means to make a ray of light change directions when it enters at an angle. And it is a verb. So think of prisms, think of light bending, and uh, that is the essence of refract. Examples here are the light refracted through the prism, creating a beautiful display of colors on the wall. The light refracted as it passed through the water, creating mesmerizing patterns on the pool floor. Quarantine. What this means is it's a state, period, or place of isolation in which people or animals that have arrived from elsewhere or been exposed to infectious or contagious disease are placed. And that is as a noun. If you want to use it as a verb, it means the act of placing a person or animal into quarantine. So uh, this word is uh, definitely known by a lot more people than it used to be because we used it a lot during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, to quarantine is basically to isolate for the protection of yourself and for others in society. So examples here are the health department imposed a quarantine on individuals who were exposed to the contagious disease. International travelers were required to undergo a mandatory quarantine upon arrival to prevent the spread of the virus. Here's emollient. This means make soft or supple as a noun, having the quality of softening or soothing, typically the skin as an adjective. So you'll typically hear this in the context of balms or lotions or anything that really soothes the skin but you can also think of words as an emollient for someone who is agitated, anything that makes, that has a calming and soothing effect. Examples here are the emollient lotion provided relief and soothing hydration to my dry skin. The emollient oil provided deep nourishment to the dry and brittle hair. Zodiac. So, the literal meaning of zodiac is a belt of the heavens within about eight degrees either side of the ecliptic, including all apparent positions of the sun, moon, and most familiar planets. So typically culturally, when people are referring to the zodiac, especially in America, they're referring to the sign that corresponds with your birthday. So for example, there's Aries, Taurus, Cancer, uh, many different types of astrological signs. Examples here are many people believe that the Zodiac can provide insights into their future and personality traits. The Zodiac is a collection of astrological signs that are associated with different personality traits and characteristics. Refurbish. This means to restore, clean up. It's a verb. Examples here are the old house was completely refurbished with new paint, flooring, and furniture. 
the hotel underwent a refurbishment to upgrade its facilities and provide a better experience for guests. Strenuous. This means requiring tremendous energy or stamina. It's an adjective. So recently, uh, someone invited me to go on a hike and I thought it was going to be a nice, pleasant, easy hike. No, it turned out to be a very strenuous hike. There were uh, lots of rocks and lots of climbing, lots of narrow passageways. It took a lot of energy and effort to make it to the end of the hike, but I did it. It was strenuous though. Examples here are, she embarked on a strenuous workout routine to improve her fitness and endurance. The athlete trained for hours each day, pushing themselves to their limits in strenuous workouts. Insidious. This means appealing, but imperceptibly harmful, seductive. It's an adjective. So something that's insidious is kind of sneaky almost. It seems fantastic, it seems really good, but it is actually gonna harm you or be problematic. Examples are, the insidious disease spread silently with people unaware of its presence until symptoms appeared. The insidious effects of pollution slowly degraded the environment, causing long-term damage. Amenity. This is an item that increases comfort. It's a noun. So if you're staying in a nice hotel, you're probably going to be asking what kind of amenities they have. So do they have nice soaps, shampoos, special pillows? Those would all be considered amenities for that hotel. Examples here are the hotel boasted various amenities, such as a swimming pool, fitness center, and spa. The park had amenities like benches, walking paths, and a dog-friendly area. Modulate. This means to pass from one state to another, especially in music. It's a verb. So think of modulate as a word that has some sort of motion to it. It's to pass from one side to another, and it's specifically usually referring to sound uh, going kind of up and down and passing from one state to another. Examples here are the singer's ability to modulate her voice allowed her to hit different notes and create beautiful melodies. The speaker used her voice to modulate the volume and emphasis to captivate the audience. So let's do a review story so we can practice with these words. Listen to me read the story. In a busy furniture warehouse, workers labored diligently to refurbish and restore worn out pieces to their former glory. The manager, Mr. Johnson, meticulously inspected each item, addressing every query and concern from customers. Amidst the hustle, a ray of sunlight refracted through a window, casting a warm glow on the display. Suddenly, a shipment of new items arrived, but one crate raised suspicion. With caution, they placed it in quarantine, suspecting an infestation. It turned out to be a false alarm, a momentary disturbance in their otherwise organized space. Amidst the hard work, the warehouse provided a few amenities to alleviate the strenuous nature of the job. A comfortable break room with plush couches and a coffee machine offered a brief respite from the physical demands. Employees applied emollient lotion to their hands, soothing them after handling the rough materials. As the day progressed, the team noticed an insidious issue, a faulty shelf. Prompt action was taken to remove and replace it, ensuring the safety of both workers and customers. With an eye for aesthetics, the team arranged the furniture according to Zodiac-inspired themes, creating stunning displays that captured customers' attention. The warehouse atmosphere embraced the art of interior design, where each piece was carefully modulated to evoke a desired mood. The warehouse, once a mere storage facility, had transformed into a haven of creativity and functionality. So let's read through these words one more time. Query, refract, quarantine, emollient, zodiac, refurbish, strenuous, insidious, amenity, modulate. Great job today. 
This is a series, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of this. I'll put playlists and videos right here. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.